but the mood They feel it, I kill it, I'm really just spilling the juice I did not shoot, but I fuck with the fame The gun and it's something I do, I don't need a crew Don't need sell on my own and I got something to prove I'm on the loose, the pity get gritty I light up the city like so much fuck up the mood I'm smiling because I know who this goofy is and we're listening to him right now like he's serious. He's a serious person to listen to. <laughs> I don't know how both of them are sitting there just so straight faced like I can't. Oh, you think Destiny will destroy him? Steph, you think Destiny will destroy him? Is that what you think? Sit and watch what happens, my friend. Paris is for fracking. This uh, for the last four years, we've done nothing but what uh, EV sale, put in chargers, spend billions of dollars doing that. We're not drilling to, pro to, to produce our own our own oil and, and sustain our own country with our own energy, but uh, for, for what a climate deal. And now Biden is putting uh, windmills out in the ocean, which is our most uh, fragile ecosystem on the planet. And then him and Harris are, are giving 10, 20 year leases uh, to the <laughs> Amorites and the tree huggers for BLM land. So now the forces are, are not going to be harvested right. Um, your, your cattle ranchers uh, aren't going to be able to, to use BLM land for, for grazing uh, and, and raising uh, agriculture. Uh, so nothing really makes sense, not to mention not yet, a damn about what's not going yet. on at the border. And it's not just the southern border. We just had, what, a million cents? I do see we got like a, a 14 people jump out of nowhere. Everyone just coming in. We're, uh, we're going to go over the Wilsons wrecking SeaWorld over the last couple of days. In just a, a few minutes, uh, about 20 minutes or a little longer after that, we're watching right now something. I woke up, thought I was in fucking La La Land. I thought I was in the Truman Show being filmed for a prank. We have the actual Joe Exotic Tiger King from the Netflix doc documentary debating Mr. The Cuck Destiny over here. <laughs> for real. Like, this is really him calling in from jail or wherever he's at this is really what's going on right now this is the actual one i i was just lost when i seen this and the fact that destiny took this debate i mean i guess just for the content or something but like come on dude like how are you not laughing at this idiot uh so nothing really makes sense not to mention neither one of them give a damn about what's going on at the border and it's not just the southern border we just had what a million fentanyl pills uh caught at the canadian border but the only one that people want to complain about is the southern border because that's where the Mexicans are all coming in. But, you know, when we have homeless vets living on the streets and we're giving hotel rooms in New York City uh, to immigrants that are coming into the country uh, illegally and through Biden and Harris's policies right now, uh, America needs to change. You know, Trump is going to keep us safe uh, uh, from, from our world enemy. I interview uh, all we've done under Biden uh, and Harris is, is trade uh, dangerous criminals for, Not for me, but I interview players and, and ballerinas and give away billions and billions of dollars uh, to fight foreign wars, uh, not to mention $6 billion to release uh, some, some more of, uh, prisoners that, that we had of someone else's. So, no, I, America is not safe uh, under Harris at all. Uh, I don't think she's tough enough to stand up to Russia, China, or, or anyone else. Uh, and you got to think more about uh, just you got you to get your head out of the abortion center, okay? Because you got to get your head Every, everybody's going to die, all right, if, if we end up in World War III. And Harris is just not tough enough to do it. So there you go. That sentence was so incoherent. He just said, you got to stay out of the abort. You got to get your head out of the abortion side because Harris is not tough enough. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. You got to get your head out of the abortion side because if we have World War III, everyone's going to die. And Harris is not strong enough to defend us. What the fuck sentence is that? That's... <laughs> you got to get your head out of the abortion center because if world war three happens we're all gonna die harris isn't strong enough <laughs> that follows logically he says <laughs> holy shit yeah Thank you very much for that opening. We will kick it into open dialogue. Thanks, gentlemen. The floor is all yours. Yeah, I guess I feel like the biggest issue is like Trump had four years and Trump just complained about everything. He said that the people. I feel like the biggest. I feel like the biggest issue is that Trump had four years and then I. Oh my God! Ever since someone pointed out, listen, I used to only only listen to Destiny, never watched him. So when I started streaming, watching him, I never really noticed it. And then someone in my chat pointed it out, and that's all I can see. I have to force myself not to look at him while he's talking so I can actually hear what he's saying. It's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. 
People that he hired didn't do well work for him. He, you know, everybody that's worked with him has said that he's, you know, a loser. He's got a different vice president now because he doesn't like the last one. Like, I feel like when a guy is surrounded by that many people saying, you know, I don't support this guy. It seems like it is a bad job. I feel like why would I trust this guy for another four years? I okay, well, you know, uh, he was in there for four years, but when did when did the Democrats give him a piece of quiet so he could do his damn job? What, they impeached him twice? Uh, and, and that wasn't good enough? Uh, that's just like the, the situation I'm in. Hell, I left and gave him my zoo, and they still came after me and indicted me with 21 charges. They indicted him with 94 charges to what, prove a point? Uh, well, they- and it turns into a Joe Exotic is fucking innocent. Protect me. I mean, know, that's, it's, uh, that's it's all crap. If you want, leader. if you want... Well, if you want somebody to do a good job, leave them in there and let them do their damn job. They're already planning. They already have blueprints of how they're going to invoke the 14th Amendment to kick him out if he wins. Let the American people decide, not not the politicians in Congress uh, uh, decide for us. If the American people want to vote him back in, vote him back in and let him do his damn job. Sit, sit in a chair and shut up. I mean, we voted in Obama and McConnell and the Republicans didn't let us have another liberal Supreme Court justice. So it seems like everybody in Congress does this. It's just part of being the president. It's part of working our political system. And Trump seems to be unable to work the political system. When you're the president, people are going to attack you. That's part of being the president. If anybody should understand that, you think it would be Donald Trump, right? No, nobody's going to work with the political system. That's why it needs to be handed back to the people. Okay. Uh, first of all, a, a federal judge should be elected every four years. For God's sake, if the, if the American president has to be elected every four years, why the hell are we giving a judge a, a, a lifetime commitment? Well, because we don't want it's judges running for re-election. Justice. We don't want a judge. We don't want a judge making a decision because they're trying to win a re-election. We want the judges making decisions based on law, right? Uh, you're not getting that either way. You're getting a judge that's making a decision whether he's a Democrat or a Republican. Okay, I, I, I'm sitting in prison, and I know this. Okay, you, you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Okay, I'm sitting in prison, so I know this. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't believe this is real. It's still hard to. I get it. If you guys are. St- in this mindset uh, as I am of <laughs> this is hard to soak in that this is really fucking happening. Yeah. Everybody that got sentenced by a Democrat judge, especially sex offenders, are doing four years. Everybody that got sentenced by a Republican judge is doing 20 to 30 for a fucking eight ball of meth. Well, I, I mean, don't do drugs in states that are Republican, run, I guess. I mean, what do you want to do? I mean, different states. Ele- I mean, a lot of the elections where these people are done on your public ballots for your state elections. I mean, that's up to the people to vote for it. You can live in the state that you want. I mean, this is what you guys want when you talk about having the people decide, right? Uh, weak federal government, strong state governments. Every state will do things a little bit differently. And regardless of how a judge sentences you, it's a jury at the end of the day of your peers that convicts you for the crime. So. No, it's not. You just, see, you don't even know your own system. It's not the jury at the end of the day that decides your system. You're sentenced in a federal uh, a federal court. I didn't say they're sentenced. They judge. convict you of the crime. They convict you of the crime. Okay, well, the, the prosecutors are just as corrupt as, as the judges and, and the FBI. Okay, Okay. well, they're all corrupt. Why vote any day? They just don't vote. Who cares? Well, Why that, vote at all? That's exactly right. Yeah, Why true. I agree. Because, I wouldn't vote. Because, <laughs> because whoever I vote for, you're not going to like, and you're going you're gonna to do everything you can to, to disrupt his election. So he just said that's exactly right. So basically, he just gave up the whole fucking stupid debate they're having right now. He just said, yeah, why vote for anyone? So dumb. And I'm going to do everything I can to disrupt your election. So what's it matter? True. How did we think that the guy who, you know, fed the the staff members meth so that he could fuck them and convince them that they were gay? Like, you understand, he literally tells the story. <clears throat> OK. In the Tiger King documentary, he tells a story about how he convinced the one guy that he was gay. And we're we're listening to this guy, though, <laughs> <laughs> oh lord yeah the dude yeah the dude with three teeth exactly he said he asked him what he asked him when he watches porn does he watch uh big dicks or little dicks in the porn and uh the guy said big dicks so he's like see you're kind of gay aren't you <laughs> he convinced him i'm sure the math had something to do with it but yeah. Got some baby tigers. Nice fresh <laughs> fresh bowl of meth. Convinced him he was gay. But yeah, we should definitely listen to this guy. Well, I think if you're I think if you support true freedom and giving the government back to the people, we should protest the election or just not vote or write in somebody or vote RFK. Well, I mean, I and 
that right there proves that that three-headed or three-toothed meth head, okay, that toothless meth head over there couldn't control his own thoughts. This guy clearly had control over his thoughts, which means from yesterday when we were having the conversation of you have the right to think what you want, boom, not all the time. So do you think I ran for, why do you think I ran as a write-in candidate to take that stand? So what have you done? Not that. Do you think people should write in? if they, Let's say they were going to support Trump then, because, I mean, Trump's just part of the system and the FBI is all corrupt anyway. I think those people should just write in Joe Exotic instead. Should I write your name in? Should I vote for you? Uh, hey, that's the whole reason I've been campaigning for the last two years. That's okay, I get behind that. Yeah, because it's, it's just like the border. Okay, I could solve that border problem with, with one one thing, and that is to vet them, let them in, give them a non-citizen tech number, charge them $50 a month, just like the third world country Belize does. You can stay, you can work, you can be part of society, but you're going to pay your dues because my neighbor gave up two legs for this freedom. You're going to pay $50 a month. Yeah, but don't Republicans call that amnesty? I don't think they'd be in favor of that. Well, 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 how, can, how can that be amnesty? You have to pay your part to get freedom. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think, did, I think Democrats are probably any, okay with that. I don't think family, did you have any family members in the war? In which, which one? Iraq or? In any war. Any war, buddy. Yeah, my grandpa, I think, did Vietnam. Did he, live? he survived Vietnam. He died of lung cancer like 50 oh. years later. But <laughs> did, did, did he have any friends dying in Vietnam? I'm not sure. I, he died when I was like 10. I haven't been able to ask him. Korea. Okay, well, I'm all sorry. All my dad's friends died in Korea. Do you think it's fair for all of them to die so some uh, uh, Nick Wagner can come live and, and reap the benefits for free? I don't think that I don't think that you fight in the military for immigration rules. I think there's a whole bunch of other things you in our country. In the, that you, fight. you fight in the military, dumbass, for freedom. Okay, the American flag stands for freedom. That's fine, but what you're talking you about. Have... <laughs> this guy calling fucking Destiny a dumbass is just great. <laughs> That's the fucking greatest part. Like, <laughs> Destiny over here seriously debating this, like taking a, a debate with this meth prattling fucking predator over here. Serious. He's taking this debate serious, and this guy goes over here to talk. Yeah, we go to war for freedom, dumbass. <laughs> I think there's a whole bunch of other things you in our country in the, that you fight. You fight in the military, dumbass, for freedom, okay? The American flag stands for freedom. That's fine, but what you're talking you about, the immigration is a restriction. It's the freedom. opposite of freedom. Yeah, for paying prices and having immigration rules are the opposite of freedom. So you're fighting for something more than just freedom. I agree we should have rules and restrictions around immigration. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying the idea of like having people here who are here illegally pay $50 a month to stay here or whatever, I think most Republicans would be opposed to that. They call that amnesty. I think the Democrats would be more likely to support that than the Republicans would. How do, you, how do you feel about your neighbor having a farm and not being able to sell milk to his neighbor? Uh, I, I don't know all the different land and FDA restrictions on that, but I mean, I imagine there's probably reasons why random people can't sell food to other random people for health reasons and stuff. But Why? What, Back probably... in the 60s when I was born, our milk used to come in a glass container and sit on the porch for four hours before we even got up. What, what has what? changed well, I, I, other I, than politics? 250. The... Well... I'd say the thing that's changed is the fact that people were probably getting sick a lot from that. Now people have access to more things that they could put into the milk and hurt you or kill you or these type of things. So, yeah, there's a lot that's changed since you were fucking 10 riding dinosaurs there, fucking Joe Exotic. Holy fuck. I just want my tigers back. 300 years ago, people used to drink mercury when they thought they were sick. I don't know how I'm supposed to respond to that. My guess is going to be on the aggregate. Milk is probably safer now when people drink it than it probably was when people drank milk out of random cows okay. 60, 70 years ago. That'd be my guess. So, 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 Harris, so Harris wants to, to set prices on groceries. Mm -hmm. So a bag of chips is only $5. Do you realize how many businesses that's going to put out of business? I don't think that Harris is going to be able to set prices. I don't think that's going to happen. And Donald Trump wanted to put it. This is real, Shiva. Just so you're, everyone that's coming in, I've seen we got another little jump of people. Everyone that's coming in, yes, this is real. This is the meth head. Cuxtony Destiny over here debating the meth head Tiger King Joe Exotic, the real one from the documentary. He's in jail debating right now. This is real, just so everyone knows. This is the 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 battle of the meth lords, if you will. The twenty percent tariff it's, it's on every 20, single country. I don't think that's going to happen. That would be insane too. That's what Donald Trump wants to do. Donald Trump's got a higher chance of doing that than Harris does because I think Trump can do that by executive order. Harris is just not presidential quality period okay it's not that she's a woman it's not that she's not black enough okay the only right, reason is getting behind her right now is because she claims she's black she's a woman 
the Democrats want the first first woman to become president and be colored. Everything about Biden and Harris has been about putting black people in the Supreme Court. Oh, we're the first one to put a black person in the Supreme Court. Let me tell you something. Uh, the Democrats are so out of control. Okay, the federal government and the prison system will pay $200,000 to cut a penis off of a man and turn him into a woman. But I can't get ketchup on my fries on Wednesday. <laughs> okay, that's how fucked up the Democrats have. What the we have, hell? We have Wait, women you... that penis is... We have women waiting that penis to put on in the same prison using the same shower as the men waiting. And then they'll spend 200000 <laughs> They cut penises off. But I can't put ketchup on my fries on a Wednesday. <laughs> uh, the Democrats are so out of control. Okay, the federal government and the prison system will pay $200,000 to cut a penis off of a man and turn him into a woman. But I can't get ketchup on my fries on Wednesday. Okay, that's how fucked up the Democrats have this. Wait a minute, is the prison systems paying for gender reassignment surgeries? Is that really what's going on? <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> this is too much. This is too much. <laughs> We I can't get ketchup on my fries off of a man and turn him into a woman, but I can't get ketchup on my fries on Wednesday. <laughs> okay, that's how fucked up the Democrats have this. We have we have Wait, women waiting that penis is, we have women waiting that penis is put on in the same prison using the same shower as the men waiting to have theirs cut off. I mean, that sounds like a pretty niche issue that I don't think the average person cares about that much at all. Number one and number two, the, the average average person issues, Donald Trump didn't do anything about it. Donald Trump had four years to do anything. He couldn't. He didn't do anything. Even when he had both ha Republicans in all the Congress, Republicans on the Supreme Court. It's because Donald he Trump, spent half his time in court fighting the Democrats. He's got lawyers. He's a billionaire. He's the president. What do you mean? What? He's got other people to fight those battles from. That's part of being the president. They're trying to impeach yeah, Biden right now. Yeah, that's what happens when you're the president. Whatever. Let, let's let's just. Uh... Oh my lord. I'm telling you, this is the funniest shit of 2024 to come out so far. <laughs> we might just have to vote Joe Exotic this year. For every every month there in June of every year, let's just turn the White House rainbow color and have drag shows and make y'all happy. <laughs> as, an, as an openly gay man, that's disgusting. It, it should be the American flag, and it should represent the American people. It shouldn't have one month. Uh, the gay flag and, and all the pillars gay rainbow it shouldn't have one month of uh, Black Lives Matter. Where, where does it stop? I don't know. I mean, I'd rather the different colored lights outside the White House than one month of playing The Apprentice where Donald Trump fires another cabinet member or fires another close advisor or fires somebody else because they wouldn't, you know, follow him on some crazy well, Biden needs, cockamady scheme maybe Biden or some needs crazy. To fire somebody. Yeah, you know, it didn't seem to help Trump very much, no? <laughs> it, it doesn't seem to help Biden other than figuring out how to get more money in his bank account. Well, I mean, even if that was the case, at least Biden made money. He didn't lose money like Trump did. It sounds like a good leader and a good businessman. Yeah. Stealing it from the American people. You're doing my, this my, like this. For my grandmother. My grandmother put in Social Security. My grandmother put in Social Security for seventy years, so the the federal government could cut her Social Security. If if that happened, if that was me or you taking my grandmother's money, we'd be in jail. Okay, but but Biden can take five million dollars from Ukraine as a bribe. Uh, and that's why, that's why we're handing Ukraine $114 billion so they don't add him. Just focusing on Kamala and Trump, I do want to just redirect this because though I, I understand how Biden's relevant that he's the, v, the actual president while she's the VP for him, I do want to just direct us more towards this upcoming election for six. Yeah, I think, I, I mean, I, I mean, Trump had four years. He couldn't pass any legislation. He blamed everybody else for everything that happened. Uh, everybody how, do you, around the how do you pass, legi how do you pass legislation when, when the House is, is Republican and the Senate is Democrat? How he do you ever pass any legislation? He had a House and Senate that were both Republican. He couldn't pass anything because he was a loser. Okay, Nobody liked but, him. He couldn't work with again, anybody. You're blaming the president when the president doesn't even have that power. You need to be blaming your senators and your congressmen. Well, how was Biden able to do because it with, with a, how was Biden able to do it with a Shane, don't forget. I know, I, I know. Modern day debates. He's not in prison, but don't forget, um, Mr. Uh, Joe Exotic over here. It's literally on a prison phone. Actually, no, he's in Streamyard or something, right? So he must be on like a prison tablet or something, you know? He must have been a good boy in there. There's the one they're the ones that don't vote anything in. Okay, well, that, as part of being the president, you're supposed to help your party. You know, you cheerlead them through legislation. You work with people. You talk with people. You're the leader. That's Man, the can you get your neighbors to get along? I'm not their president. 
Uh, uh, look, uh, if you're the homeowners association, president of the homeowners association, can you get all your homeowners to get along? You better believe that the people that are the leaders of these things have to get everybody to agree on things. Yeah, that's what they they have to. They have to agree on things. Job to make them get along. Are they fucking five year olds? No, but they are representing different constituents with different desires, different hopes and dreams and fears, and, it, and that's and part it's of your... the voters' people to make sure they get along or vote their asses out. All right. Well, in that case, it doesn't matter who's front. president anyway. Though. So why would you support Trump over anybody else if it doesn't it matter? Uh, well, why the hell I agree. Do you think I'm that's not going to Exactly. We should write you in. Nobody has an open mind to understand that the American people are the ones that have to change it. Okay, and we're not going to change it by electing in Kamala Harris or Trump. It, we got to get somebody that's not a billionaire that was born with a silver spoon in their mouth, the first day, or a not prosecutor, an ex-prosecutor, or, or an ex. We, we need a farmer or, or, or somebody from the street that knows how hard it is to pay bills. <laughs> Our president needs to be a farmer, guys, or somebody from the street. That's the two choices I would pick: a farmer, a, a farmer, or a homeless person. Someone who knows what it's like to pay bills. And knows what's going on out here. And yeah, I think you don't like... I, I think you're going to have a leader that knows how to like, navigate the political system and get politically effective things. Wait, what? So, why um, why was things getting taken from him again? Because of all those bills he didn't pay? All those taxes and shit that he didn't pay? Things done. I think that Harris and Biden have shown they're able to do that. Uh, Trump has shown that he's not able to do that. He can barely run his businesses, so... But he became a billionaire, didn't he? Is Harris a well, billionaire? I mean, yeah, I mean, his dad was a was was rich. I don't think it's that impressive. <laughs> uh, no, I know that too. He put the that I know that part as well. But I know that he uh, he was getting things like they were already looking into him about taxes and shit because he wasn't paying taxes on a bunch of shit. I mean, his his dad might have been rich, but his dad wasn't as rich as Trump is now. Didn't his dad? So his dad ended up passing off like four hundred thirty million dollars off to. His- Callie here, let me rewind this so you guys can hear this part. Callie, um, uh, Joe Exotic pl- wanted Carol Baskin dead. Yeah, he, he killed Tigers. They they talked they talked about him just like putting Tigers down by killing them because he didn't want to do it the expensive way. So like he would just k- shoot them and then bury them. Yeah, I mean his dad was a was was rich. I don't think it's that impressive. <laughs> I mean, his, his dad might have been rich, but his dad wasn't as rich as Trump is now. Didn't his dad, so his dad ended up passing off like $430 million off to his children afterwards. I think Trump probably would have been wealthy if he just invested his money and did nothing with it. How many, what did he declare bankruptcy on 11 different businesses? He had casinos going broke in Atlantic City. Like, this guy's not a good businessman. If it wasn't for The Apprentice, I don't know if he would have any money at all left. Like, geez. Oh. Yes, Callie. Yeah, he Harry, wanted to take her out. We'll never get my support because she politically co-sponsored the very bill that put me in prison. For an agenda to make an illegal monopoly, okay, you cannot pass a law to for, to make a nonprofit be the only one to make money, and that's exactly what she's done. So in my eyes, she's a criminal, and and the American people need to really consider what she has done to the black people that she put in prison, how how long they've been in prison. Do you realize that a monkey in this country has more rights in a cage than a human being does in prison? <laughs> Um, I don't know exactly what we mean by that, but <laughs> it, 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 it means that the uh, justice system that her and Biden stood on that stage at that drive-in movie theater during COVID and promised prison and justice reform was just mm-hmm. another lie because they ain't done shit. How many appeals did you file for your current case? I'm on my fourth one. How many appeals do you think the average monkey files to get out of his prison? Uh, he has he has PETA behind him. He has the Humane Society of the United States behind him. Uh, yeah, he, he's got more money than any prisoner does. I want to give uh, Joe the last word because our, he's our special guest. First time on. Thanks for being with us, Joe. I think that if my right, timing is right, right, you might have to leave. If you have more time, we'd be happy to have you. But I do want to otherwise wrap up and at least get to say thank you. Yeah, you know, again. Uh, <laughs> I gotta let him wrap up. He got it timed. He, he, I bet you he paid for his time to be on the tablet. Is 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 Trump or Harris, uh, either one of us, good for this country right now? No. You can watch CNN. You can watch Fox. You can blame it on whoever you want to blame it on. Okay. But it, but- right. You you do have a point too, Jadoff. Out of all the animals he could have referenced when he right after he was making a point about black people in prisons, he could have said tigers in a cage. This motherfucker knows all about tigers in a cage. 
But you know, look at him. <laughs> I mean, look at him. What did you think he was? <laughs> you know, I'm not surprised. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Boils down to the American public are the ones that have to change the system, and you got to start throwing some of these crooked bastards out of the system. Okay, <laughs> just like just like Senator Mendez, Bull Bar Mendez. Okay, they're all corrupt. They're all in it for themselves. They don't give a shit about you. Okay, but Harris is not strong enough to keep us safe from China, Russia, and Iran. She just ain't. Okay, you can have all the gay rights, you can have all the women rights, you can have all the rights you want. But when that nuke or another 9-11 happens, don't blame nobody but your voting self for putting a weak person in office to run this country. Wow, all right. My guess is you might have to go. No, we didn't get to that. Do you have time, Joe? Do you have any extra time? We could uh, keep going, but if you do have to go, I don't want to hold you. Fuck up the move. They feel it, I kill it, I'm really just spilling the juice out of my shoes. Fuck.